Hello, I'm Olivia Ray. The American Civil Liberties Union of Indiana says it has no issue with Indiana University joining its lawsuit against the state over a controversial anti-abortion legislation. The university says its research on Alzheimer's disease would be put in jeopardy by the law. The university wants to join the suit, but the state attorney general's office argues that there are two distinct legal issues and they should be in separate cases. A hearing on the ACLU's lawsuit is scheduled for June 14th and the law takes effect on July 1st. A new study shows Medicaid expansion may have had an effect on increasing coverage for low-income children. A report from the Urban Institute says approximately 87% of Medicaid-eligible Hoosier kids had health insurance coverage in 2014. Between 2013 and 2014, Indiana saw its rate of uninsured Medicaid-eligible children drop from 9.8% to 8.7%. Indiana's Medicaid director says the decrease in uninsured kids is likely due to increased outreach and awareness efforts from both state and private companies. Republican Senator Randy Head authored a bill due to reduce areas where fresh food accounts for less than 10% of accessible and available food, also known as food deserts. His grant program would have encouraged new or existing businesses to provide fresh food to those areas. But the idea encountered some resistance from those who think it's a new welfare program. Head hopes the study, can, com, study committee can help convince his colleagues that the program will work. Now, a quick check of the forecast. Tonight, clear skies with a low of 52. Tuesday, staying sunny with a high of 82. And Wednesday through Saturday, a chance of thunderstorms. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org.